have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Hey, what's going on guys? Mike here from Arizona. I'm just doing an update video and what I have here is the start of the reconstruction of the greenhouse. I emptied out the 150 gallon stock tank and the 300 gallon stock tank yesterday and moved them back. I rotated this to now go long ways so there's more room from here from the center to the edge to give uh, room for the IBC totes. This one I just moved straight back. This one I gave extra water. There's a fish poking his head up out of the trash can. <laughs> These were all feeder goldfish at one time. And with that said, I just put 10 feeder goldfish in here. And the reason why I did that was to give these guys a better home. And I felt like it was a good thing to do. I did want to put some fish in the system just to take care of some of the algae I have in here. The goldfish do a great job of eating the green hair algae. They did wonders in this tank. There's not a spot of green hair algae in there. And it's not because of the amount of plants I have. Though for popular belief, a lot of people think that if you get plants to outgrow the algae, the algae will die off. That's somewhat true, but the algae always still seems to take hold unless you have something that physically eats it or you remove it by hand. This thing is just straight up a beast. <laughs> I literally chop from this every day and send it out to people who buy, who buy stems from me. That's why this side's a little light. But if you go all the way around... It's a beast. <laughs> Got some red liguigia up in here. You can see some of the red stems. There's a spider. And that is a red mangrove that's doing okay. It's got slightly yellow leaves, so maybe it's not doing as good as it could. It probably needs a little iron or something like that, but it seems to be okay. It seems to be surviving so far. Got some flowers, but yeah, this thing is doing good. This tank is doing really good. And this one is doing really good, and there's a new, like I said, 10 new feeder goldfish in here. There's new additions to this stock tank. These guys will be enjoying this. But there will be more progress to come, guys. I have a bunch of stuff I have to get out of here. This heater will be moved. I actually haven't really had an opportunity to set it up yet this winter. It, it hasn't been warm by any means, but it has not been super cold. The water temperature in my tanks are still staying in the low 70s. And actually, that's a little bit of an exaggeration. They get down to about 68, 69 degrees, which is still not very, that's still not bad. I still keep the goldfish happy because goldfish are cold water fish. If you noticed in my video, my underwater video from yesterday, I do have uh, zebra danios in here. However, you, there was only like two or three that showed themselves. There are a whole bunch in here. But I, I, they do good in colder water too. This is about as cold as I'm going to get. This is my winter. I may not even have to set this up this winter but if I do I have a spot to put it once the IBC totes are in here as well so with that said that is my update guys this is an introduction to the new fish room not that it, I mean still kind of a mess I have to clean up a lot of stuff obviously if you see all over the floor there's a whole bunch of stuff but I did a lot of water changes just so I can move bins and there will be the IBC totes coming in alongside over here all right, guys, you guys have a great day. Please comment. Please throw me a like. Please subscribe, and I will talk to you later. Have a good day.